Hello everybody, it is Goldsboro. Welcome back to more Fire Emblem Midnight Sun. In the last episode, we met our beautiful, beautiful protagonist, the Princess Ferratress, and she has now been betrayed by her own country. So now, we will begin Chapter 1, her suit. Shaken. Are you still thinking about what happened earlier? Yeah. They might be following us. You have to be prepared to fight them again if necessary. Lady Ferratress. Um, I know, okay? It's just... Killing is something I'm not accustomed to. Especially if the ones I kill are my own people. I'm sorry. I have been insensitive. No, it's okay. There's no time for hard feelings after all. I was the one who suggested to form a squad that specialized in pursuit, just in case we had to cope with some kind of emergency one day. Mooney surely sent them after us. To think that idea of mine would be turned against me. Ironic, isn't it? Hmm. This could also be used to our advantage. Since you're the vassal, you should know your troops in detail, right? Yes, and this squad sent after us has a solid formation. In fact, for this kind of operation, quality is preferred over quantity. Wyvern Riders will come before everyone else. They're quicker since they fly, and they can scout the enemy from above. Cavaliers will come next in order to open a gap between enemy troops, and then shamans will take advantage of the situation to capture the enemy. It's well thought out indeed. A new voice has been added to the info command! So, what do we do? Hmm. I'll think of something. We should hide in this forest in the meantime. Hmm have an idea. Maybe we could... I won't listen to any ideas of a man whose name I don't even know. <laughs> You're right. You may call me Helios. Helios, huh? What a stupid name. <laughs> <laughs> well then, let's go. We don't have time to waste. Alright, so it says to defeat the boss. We don't have the boss to defeat yet. We have some time, but at the same time, we don't have a lot of time. So, we have these two houses, both of them give good shit. Uh, we can take a look at Helios now, a mysterious man in, dark, in a dark cloak. He's quite creepy. Um, he doesn't have his silver sword anymore, but it's fine, because he can wield the steel sword pretty well. He still has the exact same boss-ass bases as he did when he showed up in Chapter 1, so he is awesome. Um, so what I'm gonna do, this might be a terrible idea, but I'm gonna go for it anyway. So I'm gonna bring heal- he Ugh. I'm gonna bring Helios down here to get that house down there. I'm gonna bring Ferratras to get the house up here because there, there is. I need. Actually, nah. I'm gonna throw Ferratras in this fort because Helios can get both of those houses in plenty of time. Because I think it's like turn three or four the enemy starts spawning. Shit! It's turn two. This mission is absurd. The vassal, the vassal has always been so nice to his soldiers. Is this the right thing to do? What if she really is innocent? Hey, you! You look like Morva! <laughs> C Corporal Ramov! I'm really sorry. I I'll fulfill my duty no matter what. Relax. I can understand your anxiety. We're all feeling the same. However, we must forget. We must not forget that we're soldiers of Poikene. The Queen has faith in us. Our duty is our life. We can't disappoint her. We don't have the right to even if the one we're intending to hurt is our beloved vassal. I understand, Corporal. My apologies for, for before. I won't forget my duty again. There they come. Helios, can you hear me? Yeah. It's important that we defeat those Wyvern Riders quickly. That's what I was going to suggest to you. Right, so I'm gonna try to move Ferratras over to that tree so that I'll be able to quickly reunite the two of them. Yeah. I want all this shit in here. Oh, hi there. You're a soldier, aren't you? There are some Hoikinen troops out there. You must be with them. Here, take this. I don't know what you're fighting for, but as a Hoikinen, I'll support you. Oh, okay. And I get an iron sword. And, I mean, Helios is a boss-ass bitch, and 
he can use... Oh, I don't think I'm going to make it to that forest. Nope. Okay. This is right here. She should be safe. I know it's said to defeat them quickly, but quickly is not my forte. Here comes the second wave of Wy Wyvern Riders. There shouldn't be more. I don't know if we can endure all of them at this rate, though. Hmm. Looks like I'll have to use it. Got a warp sword. Whoa, Helios! Where did that sword come from? This is my power. I can control dimensions for a short for short periods of time. That's how I managed to avoid the security back in the castle. Also, this sword is a bit special. I can combine it with my powers and fight at a distance. Just watch and see. So why don't we take a look at this warp sword, okay? Oh, oh! That is slightly stronger than a steel sword and has, I think, has ten more, has ten more hit, has the exact same amount of weight, but... God damn! Um. All right, so I'm not one to like to using my um my Jagans because essentially he's a Jagan. But considering the fact that Fartras might die without him, I'm probably gonna have to use him, which stinks. Or they're going to attack him for some reason. Oh yeah, probably because he's a sword. He's using swords. Makes sense. Now this guy's going to attack Feratras, and that's fine, because I'm going to kill the shit out of him. Oh, a guest! You never see visitors very often, you know? Do you want some tea? Thank you, but I'm in the middle of a fight. A fight? Oh, you're a hunter, are you? I've heard that there are a lot of wolves around here lately. Here, take this then. It'll help you if you get hurt. And got a tonic! Nice! Okay, cool, so... HEALING POWERS! Um, let's get rid of this guy, for God's sakes. Please 1% crit. Damn! Bye. God, it really hurts having to kill people with Veritrass, knowing how her character is. It's just like... Hang on, where's the dude with the lance? Because I can I can deal with the guy with the Oh, God, I, I can't deal with the guy with the steel lance. Fuck that shit. Um... Alright, so no more of spawn. Okay, so they were right. Um... So yeah, you want to stay up around here as much as possible, because you're going to have people come in, and you want them. Um, go ahead and attack this guy. I'm thinking if I want to... You know what? I can show off the warp sword. Let's do it. And I like, I like the animation. I'm pretty sure he drew that himself, and that's pretty cool, too. Also, the battle theme is just so good. Oh, God! Second platoon, charge! For the queen! There they are. Helios, listen, I've got a plan. Tell me, vassal. There's a river near here. Look, see that bridge? We can confront them one-on-one -on -one in narrow passages like that. Their numbers won't be relevant anymore. We can stop their charge. Now that's str Now that's strategy. Good job, boss. I can get rid of the wyverns as soon as possible. Since they can fly... They have, cro they have crossed the river and flanked us. Yes, that's it. I'm sure that there aren't any more. I think we kept us away from the soldiers in the forest, though. We have to consider any strategy that can bring us to victory. Ah! Found her! Do we have to fight, soldier? Shut up! I know it's the demon who's talking. Princess, if you can hear me, please forgive me. I'm just an ordinary man, but I wanted to thank you. A great vessel. I guess you won't believe anything I say. Bring it on, great soldier. <laughs> Don't try to confuse me, you demon. For the queen! Yes! <laughs> I love it when they miss. Oh, oh, Feratras, what you got now? HP, strength, speed. Yes, I want speed. You don't get speed often with Feratras, so it's like... Fair enough that you get that. Um... I think it will be in our best interest to just keep moving upward. Feed Feratras kills because she won't be able to handle herself without Helios. And have Helios chill out of here. I promise it's for good reason, even though they told us to stay all for fuck's sakes. 
They're platoon. They're something, something, something. They keep coming. I wonder if just the two of us will be able to get through all of them. Speaking. Oh my! So it's true! The Hoikinens have invaded Magnolia, led by the vassal! Evil scum! I don't know, Kristoff. Their behavior is confusing. Okay, what do I know this song from? I don't know what the song is from. Please! Raya! Don't be blinded by demonic tricks! Those are the devil's bloody agents! The vassal conducted her evil forces here just to ruin our beloved nation! Stop, you idiot. Whatever the reasons, doesn't matter right now. We'll wipe these few troops out and report the situation to the Empress. By the way, she's heterochromic. I don't know if anybody's noticing that. I like it. It's cute. So it's time for some blood. God wouldn't like this, Raya. But I do. <laughs> Kristoff is great. I'm sure he'll forgive me if I say a little prayer before fighting. Well, while you waste time, I'm going to go and slit a few throats. Please, forgive me for the lives I shall take. I and my axe will dedicate you a dance of blood and grace. Seriously can't understand you sometimes, Kristoff. That's me. Amen. <laughs> Alright, so we need to get Ferratras to talk to- all oh, for fuck's sake! Oh my fucking fuck! I trust a 45. No, I don't, but let's go for it anyway. For fuck's sake. Okay. Um. Um. For, for fuck's sake, man. Um. Let's go for this guy. No. Goodbye. The most I can do is. Yes, dude! Fucking far trash. thank you. Oh, for- No! 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 Why did you kill her? You're gonna die! Oh, you have to- Please, 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 no! Yes! Fuck you, bitch! Oh my- What? Oh my god, she doubled! For fuck's sake. Yes, okay. Oh, Raya, that was beautiful, babe. I like Raya. I like Kristoff, too. Oh god, here he goes. Oh, for- oh, for fuck's sake. Um... We have to have Faratress? I, I think just Faratress. Faratress, I don't know. She, it looks like Foratress. It's weird, okay? I'm surprised she isn't a fucking giant walnut. I don't know. Okay, so talk to Raya. Wait, you there. Are you the princess of Hoikide? And do you even if I was? I'm Princess Raya of Magnolia. Your armed troops cause Magnolia's crossbang. Blech! Crossed Magnolia's borders, meaning that you violated Lord Ohm's Treaty of 892, which granted mutual aid between our countries. This is Magnolia's territory? Just what? Uh, let's quit this idiotic blabbering already, please. I'm the one who's being chased down by these Hoikinen troops. What did you say? Are you deaf, chestnut? <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> Oh, Faratress, she's like my favorite female lord ever. Like, honestly, if this game was completed, this would probably be my favorite Fire Emblem. I don't give a shit. <laughs> I said that those Hoikinen troops are trying to capture me. That's absurd. Why don't Kade... Why would... Blech. That's absurd. Why did Hoikide fight its own princess? Listen, it's complicated. I just have to fight them even if I don't want to. I don't have any choice. I see. But Magnolia wouldn't tolerate any infringements of the old packs. Happen in Hoikide isn't our business. You must leave. Now. I have a better idea. Since we both want to get rid of these soldiers, let's fight together. If you're aware of the complications that this decision implies, okay. But beware. You lied about your true intentions. I'll be the one wanting your head. <laughs> That's fine with me. Let's go then. Then, Crystal. Hoikide's vassals are allied. We'll mow down all the others. At your command, Malay. Wait, we fight with the demon? That's right, be ready. This can't be. God, did you abandon me? <laughs> Unless. Yes, this must be his will. I have to exercise that poor princess. Here I come. Alright, so Raya is, is quick. Royal Archer, also. 
Noble archers use modern magical arrows. Equip magic arrows. The cold and composed princess of Magnolia. She has hetero unusual eyes. That is referred to as heterochromia, I'm afraid. Uh, she doesn't do a lot of damage, but she'll get a lot of speed. And shitloads of skill. Pretty much uh, typical archer fare. Um, she has a... A lightning rod. This is a magic one. I believe this is a weapon that does magic damage. And yeah, it's awesome. And then just a ra uh, regular bow. Wait a second. Is that six damage? Oh. Oh. That's fine. We'll work with it. Raya's good. Got a tonic. Yes. Ferritras needs all the tonics in the world because she's going to die. Um. Alright, so here we go. We got Kristoff. Kristoff is a trusted warrior of Magnolia. Religious yet blood hungry. Kristoff is typical fighter fare. He has no magic whatsoever, of course. He's gonna be really high in attack. He's gonna have really high strength and HP. And, you know, he'll have all right pretty much everything else. And 11 con, he can sort of heal steel. He can sort of hold steel axes. You got you have an iron axe that Kristoff can use! So we're gonna throw Kristoff right here. Oh my god, he can pick up Helios? Okay. Um nah. This is a good formation right now. Ow. No. Why did the Iron Axe guy go What? Why? It seems dumb to me. Oh for I could buy iron swords all the time. Oh no. Okay. Um you have a potion, what does that do? Expensive solution for healing wounds with source 25 HP. Interesting. Don't need it though. What do you have? You have a steel lens. Perfect for Kristoff to move through. Damn, I, I kind of want that axe, but at the same time, I don't want that... For fuck's sake, Helios. I get that you're good. Beat Kristoff kills. Oh, dude! Yes! Alright, let's kill the shit out of this dude. Just use a hand axe, because I, I don't even want to worry about the fact that he doesn't die. Oh, I can't check and see how much this Steel Sword dude does to Ferritras. That's fine. I'm gonna just put people here. Oh, God. They're weakened. Let's finish them. Oh god, he's still going for Kristoff. Alright, um... Go ahead and have Ferritras take care of him. Alright, so things are getting better. Oh, okay, he has a tonic already, that's fine. Um... He has a lot of HP, and... I... Kind of... Are you going to attack Chris? You're probably going to attack Kristoff with Ferritras. That's fine. I mean, you have Helios take the Warp Sword so he can just, like, eliminate a bunch of them. Oh, crap, crap, crap. I'm skipping things. My bad. My bad. Hang on. I'm going to reset because I'm nice to you guys. I don't want to beat up. <sighs> that should be the last platoon. Just one last effort. This outcome is a total disaster. Punishment for having gone against the Demon King? Or is it because we fought our own beloved princess? It doesn't matter anymore. All I have to do now is join my men down there. Alright, and people are gonna start going off. Oh, fuck's sake, this guy's a steel sword. Come on. Just warp swords, these guys, please. Just get rid of them. Let's just have very little to deal with. I'm fine with. Oh god. To the last breath. For Hoikade! Alright, so all we really have to do is take out, um, uh, what is his name, Morva? No, his name is Ram Ramav, okay. All we have to really do is take out Ramav, but the problem being is that Ramav is kind of big, and he's probably gonna go straight for Raya, and that's gonna be bad. But, you know, shit happens. You can go ahead and heal Kristoff, and have Raya poke the fucking cat. 
can honestly say, like with no hesitation, that this is probably one of the most difficult Fire Emblem games I've played too. Like, I I still have trouble with this game all the time. It's it's hard as shit. Why? Taste the bite of Hoikere! can't die here. Oh, is it a game over? It is a game over. Wow. Guys, I'll be right back. Bye! Alright, so, back where we left off, kind of? Um, a couple things happened. Uh, so we got fucking, um, uh, who died? So, he died once. That happened. Um, so, I have decided... I'm going to make sure everybody is healed. So that they don't die from bullshit. And by bullshit, I mean Ramob's goddamn horse slayer. Because that shit was dick. Alright. Let's try this again. As you can see, uh, Raya is, uh, dank. Leave him alone. For fuck's sake, leave Helios. Oh my god, Helios! Ooh! Takes the might of Hoikere! <laughs> Alright, what do we got? Um... Should we try giving... Our boy Kristoff a kill. Ooh! I swear if this fucks me up. Kristoff, I love you. Let's move you out the way. Because moving you is fine. Alright. Corporal Ramav! Ugh! Corporal Ramav, please stop this nonsense! How can you attack me? The princess and vassal of your own nation! Pitiful fiend. First you kill our comrades back at the castle, and now you dare use our princess as a shield? Pathetic. Let me teach you what honor is. <sighs> yes! Fuck that horse slayer, dude. And... Let's finish him off with Raya. So this is how a soldier's life actually ends. And Ramav is dead. Yay! By the way, I'm mad. I'm gonna talk about this real quick before we get into um the story and shit. So I had to reset this again, right? Ferritras had a near perfect level up. Gets the exact same level up later. One HP and that's it. No, Corporal Ramav has fallen. Oh gods, why? First we lose the vassal, and now one of our finest corporals. Everyone retreat, we'll just die by staying here. Everybody just got GTFO up there. It's finished. Lady Ferratress, are you okay? You look so pale. I don't think I'll ever get accustomed to this. It's just... too much. Those idiots, why do they have to act like that? I can't just sit here and let them be, but... Is my freedom worth so many lives? Should I surrender so I wouldn't have to kill anyone anymore? If you get caught, you'll die, Vassal. And if you die, not only those soldiers, but everyone else will die as well. The Demon King's power is far beyond our imagination. Excuse me. Did you forget about us? You. You said you're the Princess of Magnolia, right? Thank you for your help. Then that's most certainly one of her demonic tricks! She's thanking us in order to get our guard down! Is he another enemy? No, he's just a numbskull, but he's an ally of ours. I don't know what this theme is, but I like this one too. Anyway, you have to give us some proper explanation of what about what happened today. Despite the circumstances, you still are Hoikide's princess, and you must represent your country's motivations. I understand your point of view. However, I formally asked to talk to the Empress herself about my situation. It's certainly a trap! Very well, I'll escort you to the Magnolia Palace. Uh... And as you can see, it is basically the same FE8 map, we just changed all the names of everything. Ferratras managed to escape the Pursuit Squad's attack. 
Still, shocked and heartbroken by her new circumstances, she decides to ask help from the Empress of Magnolia, the nearby country which has always been Hoikade's ally. Back. Princess Raya, Sir Kristoff, welcome back. The Empress will receive you soon. Thank you, you're dismissed. Oh no, more Kristoff stuff. Kristoff. Yes, mother. Why did you insult the vassal 47 times while coming here? <laughs> I'm sorry, Raya, but I can't trust her. I can't respect someone gifted with a power she can't even control. You heard those wicked soldiers, didn't you? She may be... Watch your tongue and be smarter. If she really was controlled by the demon, teasing her could be dangerous. And if she wasn't, you would have insulted an innocent woman. You're right. I'm sorry. You also have to consider that she's been through a lot. Her parents, right after she was born, died under unknown circumstances. She was raised by the woman known as Hoikide's current queen. She also bore the weight of the demon while going through this. I have to apologize to her later. Are you eavesdropping, Vassal? Oh, it's you, Helios. Why are you staring at me? I was just thinking that you have to yet that you have yet to explain me a lot of things. What's the plan you and Alvano were talking about at the time? Oh, that. Well, Queen Mooney betrayed you. The brainwashing idea was hers. W what did you say? Mooney wouldn't do anything like that. She's she's like a mother to me. I I was there when she asked Alvano to brainwash those soldiers. She obviously lied when she said that Alvano wasn't strong enough. Her only purpose was to set you up. But, why were you there? Who are you? I've always been hidden in the shadows, since my own existence is sinful. Veritress, I'm Mooney and your father's secret son. I'm your half-brother. No, you're, you're lying. My royal red eyes lie as well. <laughs> if y'all heard that, those are the Thunderbirds. They're flying some cool-ass planes outside. I know that this is sudden. I'll let you think about what I've said. Later. Wait! Helios, please, don't leave me like this! Who's screaming like a monkey? <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry, miss. I just had quite a, a quite unusual conversation. Hey, it's cool. No worries, pal. Hey, can you possibly be the Demon King's vassal? Yes, it's me. Oh! Yo! <laughs> I'm Magnolia's Empress, Phoebe. Nice to meet you. Why is the final boss theme to Mario and Luigi Partners in Time playing right now? I don't get it either. You? I mean... Ahem. Nice to make your acquaintance, Your Highness. Please, call me Phoebe. I don't like colloquialisms. Fine then, Phoebe. Me neither. My sister, Princess Raya, told me about today's battle. I was a bit astonished. Did you really fight your own people? Please, explain to me what happened from the very beginning. Okay, this morning I... Defending yourself from a bunch of brainwashed soldiers. And the one who planned all this was Mooney, the Queen of Hoikide? So it seems. At least that's what Helios said. Veritras, tell me. Do you really believe what that Helios guy said? It saved my life. He knew about the plan and he thinks I'm innocent. It's enough for me. Admitting that you really are innocent. Princess Raya. I understand your doubt, sister, but she may be telling the truth. Hey, Feratress, what do you want from Magnolia, hmm? I don't want to kill anymore. All those innocent lives. Their weight is too much to bear. Those planes need to stop. They're being loud as fuck right now. All those innocent lives, their weight is too much to bear. I also fear that these feelings may corrupt me with the demon. It's absolutely necessary that I find some peace, really. And there's only one place where I would feel secure right now. Zulis. That's right. The Zulis is protected by strict anti-war laws. Even Mooney will think twice before entering there with her troops. But I can't go alone. Hoikide will try to capture me again, and this time they'll be prepared. That's why I must ask for your help. Helping you now would paradoxically result in a declaration of war. Even Mooney also sent me a messenger asking permission to cross our borders. No. That's why I wasn't expecting anything. Sorry, I wasted your time. However... If you really are innocent, I can't let you go like this. I'll give you a few trust I'll give you a few trusted warriors who pretend to be brainwashed too. This way Hoikide won't have the right to say anything. We're also about to let their forces cross Magnolia to avoid. So you may end up fighting him again. 
this is way more than I expected. Thank you so much, Empress. Please, no teary eyes. I'm doing what's best for Magnolia. You were truthful. I'd have helped the innocent vassal in her mission. If not, I'd have let the Hoy I'd Ugh, I'd have let Hoikade capture a criminal who fled from the country. That's all. And so that ends chapter one. So, see you guys later for chapter two. Uh, hopefully it won't be as horrible a train wreck as it just was this play this time. So uh, see you guys in a little bit.